to the 2024 California DMV Senior Written Test. This test has 60 questions to help you prepare for this test. Before we get started, don't forget to jumpstart that like button to keep this channel running. Now here is your DMV instructor to walk you through the questions. Question one. What should you do before vacating a parking space that is parallel to the curb? A, check for pedestrians. B, honk the horn. C, turn on hazard lights. D, signal your intention to exit. The correct answer is A, check for pedestrians. Question two. What are the colors of warning signs that signal hazards ahead, such as curves in the road or narrow bridges? A. Red and white. B. Yellow and black. C. Blue and green. D. Orange and white. The correct answer is B. Yellow and black. Question 3. What sets driving on an expressway apart from driving on an ordinary street? A. Higher speed limits. B. Limited access points. C. Increased number of lanes. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 4. Are U-turns legal in residential districts? A. Yes, they are always legal. B. No, they are always illegal. C. It depends on the specific traffic regulations. D. Only during designated hours of the day. The correct answer is C. It depends on the specific traffic regulations. Question 5. It is safest to pass another vehicle on the right when A. The vehicle you are passing is making a left turn. B. You are driving in a residential area. C. You are on a one-lane road. D. The vehicle you are passing is speeding. The correct answer is A. The vehicle you are passing is making a left turn. Question 6. Which statement applies to all driving emergency situations? A. Stay calm and focused. B. Honk the horn repeatedly. C. Speed up to escape the situation quickly. D. Apply the brakes abruptly. The correct answer is A. Stay calm and focused. Question 7. When you hear the siren or see the red emergency light of a closely approaching ambulance, police vehicle, or fire truck, you must a. Speed up to get out of the way. B. Continue driving at the same speed. C. Pull over to the right edge of the road and stop. D. Stop immediately in your lane. The correct answer is C. Pull over to the right edge of the road and stop. And 8. What should you do if you start to pass a vehicle, but then realize you do not have enough space to complete the maneuver safely? A. Continue passing and speed up to get past the vehicle quickly. B. Signal and move back into your lane behind the vehicle. C. Use the shoulder as additional space to pass. D. Honk your horn to alert the other driver. The correct answer is B. Signal and move back into your lane behind the vehicle. Question 9. Under what circumstance are you prohibited from crossing a single broken white or yellow line? A. During daylight hours. B. Only when there is heavy traffic. C. When passing another vehicle. D. When turning onto a side road. The correct answer is C. When passing another vehicle. Question 10. What is the effect of a hit-and-run conviction on your driving record? A. No effect if no one was injured. B. Possible points added and potential for license suspension. C. A mandatory award from the state. D. A decrease in insurance premiums. The correct answer is B. Possible points added and potential for license suspension. Question 11. What does a flashing red traffic light mean? A. Stop, then proceed when safe. B. Slow down and proceed with caution. C. Yield to all traffic. D. Stop and wait for a green light. The correct answer is A. Stop, then proceed when safe. Question 12. Which of the following is a sign that someone should not drive due to alcohol consumption? A. Loud talking. B. Overconfidence. C. Slurred speech. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 13. When must you signal before making a turn? A. 
at least 100 feet before the turn, B, at least 50 feet before the turn, C, at least 25 feet before the turn, D, at least 200 feet before the turn. The correct answer is A, at least 100 feet before the turn. Question 14. What is the average perception time for an alert driver? A, 1 second. B, 1.5 seconds. C, 2 seconds. D, 2.5 seconds. The correct answer is B, 1.5 seconds. Question 15. What is one way to avoid driving under the influence of alcohol? A. Drink slowly. B. Eat before drinking. C. Choose non-alcoholic drinks. D. All of the above are effective strategies. The correct answer is D. All of the above are effective strategies. Question 16. If the traffic light is red, but a police officer or firefighter on duty tells you to go ahead, you should A. Wait for the light to turn green. B. Proceed as directed by the officer. C. Ignore the officer and follow the traffic light. D. Stop and ask for confirmation. The correct answer is B. Proceed as directed by the officer. Question 17. You intend to turn right at the next intersection. When should you start using your turn signal? A. Just before turning. B. At least 100 feet before turning. C. As soon as you enter the intersection. D. Only when there is approaching traffic. The correct answer is B. At least 100 feet before turning. Question 18. If you see a flooded roadway ahead, A. Drive through it slowly. B. Turn around and find an alternate route. C. Speed up to pass through quickly. D. Follow other vehicles through the water. The correct answer is B. Turn around and find an alternate route. Question 19. If you have a green light but the intersection is blocked by traffic, what should you do? A. Proceed into the intersection and wait. B. Honk your horn and force your way through. C. Change lanes and avoid the blocked intersection. D. Stay behind the stop line and wait until it clears. The correct answer is D. Stay behind the stop line and wait until it clears. Question 20. What does the law state when there are no signs, signals, or police directing you at an intersection? A. Proceed with caution and yield to vehicles from the right. B. Treat it as a four-way stop and yield to the first vehicle that arrived. C. Always give right-of-way to vehicles approaching from the left. D. Ignore other vehicles and proceed as quickly as possible. The correct answer is A. Proceed with caution and yield to vehicles from the right. Question 21. What do these pavement markings indicate at the intersection ahead? A. Crosswalk for pedestrians. B. No parking zone. C. Yield sign ahead. D. Stop sign ahead. The correct answer is A. Crosswalk for pedestrians. Question 22. Pedestrians using guide dogs or carrying white canes must be A. Given the right of way at all times. B. Ignored if there is no crosswalk. C. Assisted by honking your horn. D. Passed quickly before they cross. The correct answer is A. Given the right of way at all times. Question 23. How should you prepare for potential road hazards ahead? A. Decrease your speed. B. Turn on your hazard lights. C. Maintain your current speed. D. Stay focused and attentive. The correct answer is D. Stay focused and attentive. Question 24. Can unpaid parking tickets affect your driving record? A. Yes, they can lead to a suspension. B. No, they have no impact. C. Only if they are over a certain amount. D. Only if you accumulate more than 10. The correct answer is A. Yes, they can lead to a suspension. Question 25. When your right wheels run onto a soft shoulder, what is the optimal method to re-enter the highway? A. Slam on the brakes to slow down. B. Gradually steer back onto the pavement. C. Jerk the steering wheel to quickly re-enter. D. 
accelerate to regain control? The correct answer is B. Gradually steer back onto the pavement. Question 26. At an intersection with a stop sign, what should you do? A. Proceed without stopping if there is no oncoming traffic. B. Slow down and yield to vehicles on the right. C. Come to a complete stop and yield to vehicles with the right of way. D. Honk to alert other drivers of your presence. The correct answer is C. Come to a complete stop and yield to vehicles with the right of way. Question 27. What action should you take when merging onto a highway? A. Decrease your speed before merging. B. Stop on the acceleration lane, then merge. C. Merge at the speed of traffic. D. Use the shoulder as a merging lane. The correct answer is C. Merge at the speed of traffic. Question 28. Which of the following activities increases the risk of a crash for distracted drivers? A. Eating or drinking. B. Adjusting the radio. C. Texting or using a cell phone. D. Conversing with passengers. The correct answer is C. Texting or using a cell phone. Question 29. When driving on gravel or dirt roads, you must A. Drive at the same speed as on paved roads. B. Increase your speed to avoid skidding. C. Slow down and increase your following distance. D. Use your horn frequently. The correct answer is C. Slow down and increase your following distance. Question 30. How should you approach a blind intersection? A. Speed up to minimize time in the intersection. B. Stop completely before proceeding. C. Proceed with caution, reducing speed and looking both ways. D. Honk to alert cross traffic. The correct answer is C. Proceed with caution, reducing speed and looking both ways. Question 31. What does a red and white triangular sign at an intersection indicate? A. Yield the right of way. B. Proceed without stopping. C. Stop and wait for pedestrians. D. Merge with oncoming traffic. The correct answer is A. Yield the right of way. Question 32. Using the unpaved shoulder of the road to pass to the right of a vehicle ahead of you is A. Allowed if the vehicle is turning left. B. Allowed if the vehicle is driving too slowly. C. Allowed during heavy traffic. D. Not allowed under any circumstances. The correct answer is D. Not allowed under any circumstances. Question 33. What should you do if your vehicle stalls when crossing railroad tracks? A. Stay in the vehicle and call for help. B. Try to restart the vehicle immediately. C. Get out of the vehicle and move away from the tracks. D. Push the vehicle off the tracks. The correct answer is C. Get out of the vehicle and move away from the tracks. Question 34. Which one of the following is not a safe driving habit? A. Tailgating the vehicle in front of you. B. Checking mirrors frequently. C. Using turn signals before changing lanes. D. Obeying traffic signs and signals. The correct answer is A. Tailgating the vehicle in front of you. Question 35. How might a driver with a suspended license get their license reinstated? A. By waiting a specific period. B. Completing a court-ordered program. C. Paying a reinstatement fee. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 36. What is the general rule regarding parking? A. Park anywhere you find an empty space. B. Park only in designated areas. C. Park for a maximum of 30 minutes. D. Park on the sidewalk if no other options are available. The correct answer is B. Park only in designated areas. Question 37. How does lack of sleep affect your ability to drive safely? A. It improves concentration and reaction time. B. 
It has no effect on driving ability. C. It increases the risk of drowsiness and impairs judgment. D. It enhances visual perception and decision-making skills. The correct answer is C. It increases the risk of drowsiness and impairs judgment. Question 38. How does alcohol affect your driving abilities and decision-making? A. Enhances focus and concentration. B. Increases reaction time. C. Improves judgment and decision-making skills. D. Impairs judgment and slows reaction time. The correct answer is D. Impairs judgment and slows reaction time. Question 39. What is your responsibility after an emergency vehicle passes you with its siren on? A. Speed up to keep up with the emergency vehicle. B. Maintain your speed and continue driving. C. Pull over to the side and come to a stop. D. Ignore the siren and continue driving. The correct answer is C. Pull over to the side and come to a stop. Question 40. You are driving in the middle lane on a three-lane expressway when a car starts passing you on the right. What are the actions of that driver? A. Correctly passing according to traffic rules. B. Illegally passing and should be reported. C. Encouraging you to move to the right lane. D. Unsafe driving behavior, as passing on the right is typically prohibited. The correct answer is D. Unsafe driving behavior, as passing on the right is typically prohibited. Question 41. How should you adjust your speed when making a turn? A. Speed up to maintain momentum. B. Maintain the same speed. C. Gradually increase your speed. D. Reduce your speed. The correct answer is D. Reduce your speed. Question 42. In what situation do roads freeze at a faster rate? A. On cloudy days. B. During light rain. C. On bridges and overpasses. D. In urban areas with heavy traffic. The correct answer is C. On bridges and overpasses. Question 43. What should you do if your vehicle starts to hydroplane? A. Speed up. B. Slow down gradually. C. Turn sharply to correct your course. D. Apply the brakes firmly. The correct answer is B. Slow down gradually. Question 44. What is the recommended action when driving through a construction zone? A. Increase speed to pass through quickly. B. Ignore construction signs and warnings. C. Follow posted signs and reduce speed. D. Honk at construction workers to get their attention. The correct answer is C. Follow posted signs and reduce speed. Question 45. It has been proven that safety belts, A, are not necessary at low speeds. B. Increase your chances of survival in most types of accidents. C. Are only effective in preventing ejections. D. Are uncomfortable and restrict movement. The correct answer is B. Increase your chances of survival in most types of accidents. Question 46. In which of the following scenarios is passing always prohibited? A. When approaching a school zone with flashing lights. B. When a solid yellow line is present on your side of the road. C. When the vehicle ahead is traveling below the speed limit. D. When driving on a wide multi-lane highway. The correct answer is B. When a solid yellow line is present on your side of the road. Question 47. In a left turn, where there is a green arrow signal for your lane, you should A. Stop and check for oncoming traffic. B. Yield to pedestrians, then proceed with the turn. C. Proceed with the turn without stopping. D. Wait for a full green light. The correct answer is B. Yield to pedestrians, then proceed with the turn. Question 48. When parallel parking, why is it important to check your mirrors frequently? A. To adjust your makeup or hair. B. To monitor traffic and ensure it is safe to continue. C. To look for a better parking spot. D. To check for parking meters. The correct answer is 
B. To monitor traffic and ensure it is safe to continue. Question 49. What is the recommended action when entering a highway from an entrance ramp? A. Come to a complete stop before merging. B. Speed up to match the flow of traffic. C. Yield to vehicles already on the highway. D. Drive at a slower speed than the traffic. The correct answer is C. Yield to vehicles already on the highway. Question 50. What is the initial action to take if your brake pedal unexpectedly goes to the floor? A. Pump the brakes rapidly. B. Shift into a lower gear. C. Engage the emergency or parking brake. D. Apply firm and continuous pressure on the brake pedal. The correct answer is D. Apply firm and continuous pressure on the brake pedal. Question 51. What is the safest practice when driving in traffic? A. Tailgate the vehicle in front. B. Maintain a safe following distance. C. Change lanes frequently. D. Use your phone while driving. The correct answer is B. Maintain a safe following distance. Question 52. What is a common result of not appearing in court for a traffic violation? A. A reward. B. A bench warrant for your arrest. C. A reduction in insurance rates. D. Automatic dismissal of the charge. The correct answer is B. A bench warrant for your arrest. Question 53. When you see a yield sign, you must A. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. B. Stop immediately. C. Speed up to merge with traffic. D. Change lanes. The correct answer is A. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. Question 54. Lines separating driving lanes for traffic moving in opposite directions are A. White. B. Yellow. C. Red. D. Blue. The correct answer is B. Yellow. Question 55. What should drivers do when entering a roundabout or traffic circle? A. Speed up to quickly navigate through the roundabout. B. Yield to vehicles already in the roundabout. C. Honk to assert your right of way. D. Stop and wait for a clear path to enter the roundabout. The correct answer is B. Yield to vehicles already in the roundabout. Question 56. What should you do when driving on wet roads? A. Increase your speed for better traction. B. Brake abruptly if hydroplaning occurs. C. Maintain a reduced speed. D. Use cruise control for stability. The correct answer is C. Maintain a reduced speed. Question 57. When approaching a roundabout, what should you do? A. Accelerate to find a gap in traffic. B. Stop completely before entering. C. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. D. Yield to traffic waiting to enter the roundabout. The correct answer is C. Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. Question 58. How many minutes does the body typically require to process the alcohol in one drink for an average person? A. 10 minutes. B. 30 minutes. C. 60 minutes. D. 90 minutes. The correct answer is C. 60 minutes. Question 59. How long does it take for alcohol to start affecting your body? A. Immediately. B. 15 minutes. C. 30 minutes. D. 1 hour. The correct answer is A. Immediately. Question 60. If you see orange construction signs and cones on a freeway, you must A. Maintain your current speed. B. Speed up to pass through quickly. C. Slow down and be prepared for workers and equipment. D. Change lanes immediately. The correct answer is C. Slow down and be prepared for workers and equipment. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you still need more practice, then check out these videos or click the link right here to get your cheat sheet, which will help you pass your DMV exam on your first try.